Greetings and salutations to you all my good chums. My name is Richard, this is Gentlemanly Gaming, and welcome back to Grand Strategy Sunday and Crusader Kings 2 in real life. Last time on the show we said goodbye to Emir Abu Bakr the Scholar and uh, the monster, some would say, towards the end. He, he tortured and dismembered many, many people in his dungeons because he was a cruel wrathful man but now we started our reign with his son Emir Mirza Emir Mirza of the Abdal Qais Emirate who is only 13 at the moment so we are not currently solely playing as him we are also playing as our uncle and regent Sheikh Abdul Jalil son of Iblis of Tihama uh, we gave him some land last time because he is the regent, he is also the Grand Vizier of the council, so he holds pretty much all of the power. Uh, our grandmother died and left these lands to us, and uh, Sheikh Abdul Jalil got in Emir Mirza's ear and said, wouldn't it be cool if I had some more land? But it was weird because once again, we lost land that we weren't expecting. Previously, we've lost... Esfahan, um, and this time we lost Bahrain and Beda. Don't know why I keep losing these lands. I don't know if maybe it's a case of um, when I give away lower titles. So if I go to give a land title here, and I go to give him that, and I give away lower titles, I don't know if maybe that's why I'm losing them. It shouldn't be the case. Because there's not really any reason for it. Because these are two totally disconnected parts of my realm. So I'm not sure why that would be the case. But for some reason, uh, yeah, there we are. We're losing land every time we give away a title for some reason. And I'm not entirely sure why. But, uh... Yeah, that's happened, and there's not really much we can do about it now. Uh, Beda, I'm not really too bothered about, but Bahrain, that stings, because A, Bahrain is a pretty good territory. It's uh, it, it doesn't give me the most amount of tax. I mean, Esfahan was a really big loss, because that gave me the most tax out of anywhere. Look, 196 that gave me. Uh, doesn't give me the most tax, but also the the thing is, is I am the holder of the um, Emirate of uh, Bahrain, and the Emirate of Bahrain no longer has the capital of Bahrain. Even though, like I said before, this is not Bahrain. This is Qatar. This is Bahrain here, but that's not Bahrain. It's Uwal, but you know, whatever. Anyway, we lost those realms little bit annoying not particularly happy with that we had to move our capital because uh yep i was owner of this realm before i actually became the player heir so this is now our capital because this is where we built up our power base uh see this one's okay because this one's also on the silk road so that will hopefully eventually give me more but esfahan has more building slots that's why it can produce a lot Tax. But yes, that's where we were last week. Uh, we're just waiting for Mirza here to come of age and see what is what. The first thing I am going to do this week, though, is I, I think I'm going to change the Guardian. Uh, and the reason I'm going to change the Guardian is because guess who has all of the power? Why, well, yes, it's the Regent and the Vizier, my uncle. He is now going to become my new guardian as well because he would, you know, quite happily put himself in charge of that, would he not? I don't know if I can change the leader of... No, I can't. I can't change the leader of the, of the household retinue, unfortunately, yet. But, yeah. So now, basically, all of the power in the realm is going through my uncle... At the moment, we will see how that might change going forward. Uh, Mirza doesn't have a huge opinion of him, but it is what it is. So now, yeah, the regent pretty much holds all of the power in the realm. 
he did want this piece of land as well, but we can't give it away because he put someone on the council who was discontented with us, who he thought might be able to swing him around. But if we look at the voting, uh, Grant landed title, and it is Haliban, isn't it? Yes. Give Haliban. Uh, we look at who's voting. He is now voting no. So that is a... Uh, that's a big problem for the head of the council. He might want to get him off. We're going to have a look at that as we go forward. But yeah, that's where we're at at the moment. Let's see how today pans out. Oh, we have a new caliph. The caliph has just died. Uh, how do I like this new one? Caliph Aglab. I... Eh. Don't have a terrible relationship with him. What's he like? Skilled tactician left-handed oh my 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 terrible groomed just paranoid proud cynical and diligent just is good but everything uh diligent is good but you know paranoid proud and cynical not great but no real problem at the moment i think we may have had pretenders rise up not too sure that could be the case that we've had some pretenders rise up, but who, what do you own? Are you the guy that owns this one? I don't know if you own this one or not. You do. Okay, well, there you go. New, ca new Caliph on the, on the map, and uh, yeah, I think we've just had some pretenders rise up potentially. So, uh, one child lacks a focus. That is my sister. Who's going to be in charge of her right now? You are my court tutor. What What are you like? What are you good at? You're a diplomatic -y kind of person. Uh, but you're also a skilled tactician, so... Hmm. Not sure. What do we want to do with you? Uh, let's put you on one of these anyway. Yeah, let's put you on etiquette. When we don't know what to do, we'll put you on that. Uh, my lieges council is discontent. Doesn't matter. I'm not on it because I'm a child. I'm not allowed to be. And my council is discontent. Of course they are. Uh, still haven't decided what I want to do with this yet. We might. We could get him off. And get a new guy on. Problem is though. Is that. It makes sense that I would put a discontent person on there. As the Grand Vizier. But the discontent people are going to vote against him anyway. Because. Again. It's not working it out. Like I'm the actual regent in charge. It's working it out that I'm Mirza in charge. Even though. Right now he wouldn't be. So. It might be a case of having to put on someone who's actually going to agree with me for now in order to get that done. But it's not super realistic. Uh, yeah, I still haven't decided what I want to do about that yet. So I'm, I'm going to leave that for the time being just because I don't know what I want to do on, on that front. Okay, I think I've I think I've worked a way around this. So the Grand Vizier obviously wants to stock it with yes men, but the problem is is that the yes men are not going to be his yes men because they're not the relationships that we're looking at aren't directly related to him, they're, they're directly related to Mirza. So but what I've come up with is when I gave my uncle this realm here as we've already discussed i lost a couple of other places beda and bahrain they just went for some reason so what about we head cannon this and say that the grand vizier when he got his new title he managed to break Mirza's power ring a little bit because he's a child and he managed to install the new guy of bahrain into the sheikdom 
So now this positive relation is 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 to Mirza, but we can headcanon this and say that it's to the Grand Vizier Abu, Abdul Jalil here because he's the one that pulled the strings behind the 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 scenes. So we can headcanon that a little bit because then he would vote for anything that Mirza wants to do because Oh no, he's not going to be a loyalist anymore. Ah. I thought he was going to be a loyalist. I mean, we could try it. He's going to be a glory hound. How are the glory hounds voting if I try to do that? So the glory hounds are voting on that. So he might vote for that. I think I'm going to do that. He needs to stock it with yes men. And that's why. So he's going to put him in there. So now he's going to be even happier. So now if we go to give him granted land. Ah, oh, you're still voting no. Why? Why are you doing this to me? You're not helping me here. You're really not helping me here. I really thought we were going to work our way around that then. Is there any steward that would vote as a... I don't think there's going to be any loyalists, is there? No, there's not going to be any loyalists. Damn it. Oh, I really thought you were going to help me out there, man. <sighs> Balls. Right, well, forget about everything I just said then. I really thought I was going to work my way around that and we were going to headcanon that perfectly, but it didn't quite work out how I wanted it to. So, damn. Damn, 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 damn. Okay, well, there's not much we can do about that because no one's going to be a loyalist in any position anyway, so there's not really much I can do right now. Something else that I just thought about that I was going to do last week that I completely forgot. Uh, this betrothal, this was made by the previous region. So this region might want to get his own people in there. Now, these are the only people I know that he's going to like for sure. Probably, my friend doesn't have any kids, no. Uh, however, that is one thing. I do have a sister, don't I? Are all of the elder ones... Already, right, you're betrothed. Oh, you're not here anyway, are you? Oh, you are here. Okay. So I could. Who are you betrothed to? Where are you? You're all the way up here. Right, okay. So, yeah, I might play around with the betrothals a little bit. So I think. I might break your betrothal. And get you married to the friend of mine. But the first thing I'm going to do first is I'm going to break this betrothal. Cannot interact with self. Mm, oh, right, I can't even do that. Okay. Because I wasn't, uh, I, mean, I could arrange the betrothal anyway and then just break the other one. Hmm. 
So I'm guessing, yeah, I can't, I can't arrange my own betrothal at the moment, can I? No. So that's something I can't do either, because I was thinking what might he might do, because he's basically with, with, he's trying to get as much power as he possibly can right now while he can. He's also next in line for the realm as well, so that's why he's trying to do that and weasel his way into everywhere. That's basically what I'm trying to do in my head cannon right now, because he is the kind of guy that would do that. He is ambitious. He is cynical. You know, he he would probably try and do that. So I was thinking about getting hit, you know, oh, well, I'm going to break that betrothal because I didn't arrange that. But getting you tie, tied closer to the uncle, you know, the regent. But I can't do that. I didn't realise that I couldn't do that at the moment. I thought, like, I could still arrange my own betrothals and things like that I didn't realize that and I'm almost 15 so what I could do is wait till I'm come of age and then do it all then but obviously the problem is is that once I become of age I can make all my own decisions then that's the difference so then the regent doesn't have any power but I think that's the only way I'm gonna get around it that's the problem so the only way I'm going to get around it is wait until I come of age and then do it then because I would be allowed to do it. But then that doesn't make any sense. I don't know. I don't know right now. I'm not sure. I think that might be a case of we might have to flip a coin when we get to it and see whether just because that's the first chance I get to actually do it, then, then maybe that's why I would want to do it. We'll see. We'll see when we get there, I guess. Oh, we have a first crusade. Crusade for Austrasia. In a grand announcement, the Pope declares another crusade. Oh, it's another? So it's not our first one. Who was our first crusade? Where was that for? But whatever, apparently this isn't our first one. Uh, Austrasia, the Christian Lord... Lord gathers from all across the world to bring Austrasia into the fold of Christian kingdoms and out of infidel hands. Austrasian, it's really difficult to say, lands has long been under the rule of the barbaric heathen Grand Chief Bugachwal of Saxony. It's only a matter of time before he will fall under the Christian onslaught. Right, okay, so that's over this area here, right? So I'm guessing it's... I mean, you'd, you'd say Austria would be this kind of area, right? But I'm not sure. Anyway, it's away from us, so it doesn't matter. Oh, the Aztecs have got a bit of Spain. Oh, wow. I, oh, I didn't even notice what was going on over here. Oh, my, my, my. Are, you, are we still related? I can't. I don't know if we're still related or not. Apparently not. We're not related anymore. But apparently, yeah, you've had a big chunk of your empire taken out of you by the Aztecs. The Aztecs are moving. How are the Mongols doing? What are you... You haven't really done a lot, have you? Not really. But everything's starting to kind of consolidate into a few big areas. Europe's still a little bit messy. But... Yeah, okay. Well... Didn't realise that the Aztecs were down here in Africa as well. Didn't realise that they'd done that. But uh, there you go. Crusade. And fortunately, it's nowhere near us. So that's good. Oh, here we go. Money has been disappearing from the treasury. I suspect my regent, Sheikh Abdul Jalil, is taking it. So, yeah. There you go. See, just proof. My uncle is, uh, he's got his fingers in the honeypot, so to speak. So... Just more proof that he's the one that has all of the power behind the scenes. He's uh, he's the one that's that's truly in charge right now. Um, might take a look again to see if I can quickly grant that title to him now. 
I don't think anyone is going to do it now, are they? Haliban. Yeah, no one's going to vote for it. Apparently they will. Oh, they're returning favours. Okay, so... Yeah, so it's even less likely. And I'm pretty sure I can't appoint anyone on here now that's going to be loyal. Yeah, no. No one's going to be loyal. No one's going to be happy. Uh, we might be clearing this out anyway after we become of power. We're going to see how we turn out when we actually turn into a, a man. See what kind of man we turn out to be. If we're like a strong, powerful, forward-thinking leader type guy, then we're probably going to clear out all of the old. Especially now that we suspect that uh, our uncle, the Grand Vizier, the Regent, has been a... Uh, manipulating and pulling the strings behind the scenes a little bit we probably want to clear it and flush it all out of his wrongdoings anyway but if we're a timid shy scared kind of guy then we probably wouldn't have the guts to stand up to our warrior regent paranoid possessed stressed wrathful cruel uncle anyway so yeah we will have to wait and see what kind of man we turn out to be before doing that, I think. Which also might make my decision up for me about the betrothal or not. If we're strong and everything, then we're probably not going to do it. If we're weak and timid, then we probably might. But not long now, and then we'll get to find out. Oh, something big's just happened next door. What what happened here? They just changed colour. What what happened? What's going on? What happened? Did they change religion or something? I'm not sure why they just changed colour. I don't know what happened there. I'm not sure what happened, but something big just happened, and uh, and they just changed colour for some reason. So, uh, your Marshal Sheikh Jabir of Mecca has put forward a plan for experimentation with new military technology inspired by a supposedly brilliant inventor and engineer that he has recently befriended. All that is needed is a little funding. Right. What's the relationship? I, uh, he likes me, but we're looking at that right now as your opinions aren't we and you don't like him very much also you probably want to keep all the, the money for yourself don't you so yeah we're gonna say no this is pointless because I'm not speaking as me right now I'm speaking as the regent but yeah I don't know what happened next door but they've had a big color change I'm not sure why that is maybe they've become a new type of realm kingdom empire something like that not entirely sure oh the regency has just come to an end so now we are about to find out what kind of man we have become i finished my education in the ways of war i feel that i have truly found my calling brilliant strategist okay so i'm a war type of guy I spend a lot of time exploring and thinking about how things work it feels great to learn Loses the trait curious, gains the trait shrewd. Okay, looks like I might be a fairly decent guy. Handsome fella, for sure. Uh, let's see, what am I? Brilliant strategist, defender, uncouth, shrewd, temperate, cynical. Hmm. I am intelligent and cynical so therefore and I have a meh opinion of my uncle but I'm also temperate so I would temper my my anger and restraint maybe I would want to try I'm not going to fire anyone but I want to try and bring them around to my way of thinking a little bit maybe I might want to send my grand vizier off to improve diplomatic relations with a a far-flung place maybe keep him out of the way 
Meanwhile, I try and bring everyone else round to my way of thinking. They're already all starting to like me. So maybe I grease the wheels a little bit more, bring them round to my way and think, you know what? Hey, I know that you were my uncle's guys, but there's no reason that we can't all get along together, is there? So I think that that might be what I want to do because I'm a temperate guy. I don't want to go swinging the axe all over the place. I want to... I want to kind of temper my restraint and bring people back round to the fold a little bit. I think that that's probably the kind of guy that I would be. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to keep the council as it is. I'm going to get you to improve diplomatic relations with the furthest flung place that I can send you. Uh, either Ireland or the Siberian Wastes. Uh... Let's send you off to the far-flung Siberian wastes. Have fun doing that. I'm going to keep you out of my realm. I don't really want you around. Uh, you, what I'm going to have is I, do I need to, would I put revolts down? Probably not, no. See, that's the other thing as well. I'm a brilliant strategist now. Strategy doesn't necessarily just equate to warfare. You can also be a wise strategist by doing other things as well, you know, in life. Yeah, I think that that makes sense. I'm also probably going to keep my betrothed as well. Because I'm smart enough that I know that that's the case and then maybe go out and get married again for someone that I like although I don't dislike her I just meh about her but yeah anyway let's finish the council first uh, you yes I'm gonna get you brilliant strategist brilliant strategist hmm shrewd defender and strategist Organize the army for me for the time being, although I'm probably going to want to do that eventually. Uh, I am not a ruly kind of guy, so I could get you to administer the realm. I'm not greedy or anything. Yeah, okay, you just administer my realm for me. My spy master. Hmm, yeah, not really anything. I'm going to keep you studying technology for the time being. And court imam, right, I'm cynical, so I don't actually want a court imam at all. So I'm just going to get you to research cultural tech. Yeah, I'm going to keep you doing that because once you die, I probably don't actually want another one anyway yeah okay yeah that's what we're gonna do for the time being right let's work through everything we need to work through ruler is unmarried betrothed can marry uh, do I like you well enough to get a alliance nope let's get that done uh, pick an ambition what would be my first ambition hmm become a counsellor cynical, temperate, shrewd, uncouth I don't really care I don't think any of these ambitions really suit me right now I'm, I'm wary I am wary so king of Arabia might be there but not ambitious I'm more of a defensive sit back and if we need to fight we will fight but we won't go looking for a fight kind of guy let's let's take a look so I've got martial education martial traits high martial skill so that's three I don't necessarily there's nothing in me that necessarily says I want to go 
starting a fight. I don't think any of these make sense right now. I mean, I don't... Yeah, I don't like my liege, so... Yeah, I'm not sure. Hmm, have a sip of tea and think about that. I'm not sure if uh, any of those ambitions really fit right now. Nothing in me suggests I want to make a friend. King of Arabia, potentially, but I'm not right on that now. I'm not ambitious, so I don't want to acquire a title. Counselor, there's nothing really in me that suggests I want to do that. And Groom and Heir, there's not really anything there either at the moment. I don't think I want an ambition right now. Uh, character focus. Hmm. Cynical, temperate, shrewd, uncouth. Uncouth might suggest carousing. But I'm not gregarious or anything like that. I don't know if I can do that anyway, can I? No, because I'm Muslim. Hunting, maybe? Maybe I like being outside? There's nothing there at the moment that suggests I want to do anything. Rulerships, business, scholarship, theology, family, carousing. Yeah, there's not really anything there right now that suggests I really want to do anything right now. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't think there's anything there right at the moment. Uh, oh, my vassals don't like me. Yeesh, yeah, that's going to take a while to sort out. My court seems to be okay. Yeah, there's only three in my court. Uh, right, nothing there that we need to do right now. Uh, minor titles. Designated regent, right. I don't know if I necessarily want anyone doing that right now because I've just gone through a regency and I didn't really enjoy it so maybe I'm a bit like uh, my mum Probably just my mum, right? Yeah, that's the person I'm going to like the most. Uh, maybe. Right, we'll go with my mum for now. But we'll move that off eventually. Cup bearer. Uh, this is something that we have has been open for a while now. My my dad didn't have a cup bearer, so we don't necessarily know about a cup bearer right now. We don't really look at that as a as a position of importance right now. Not since uh, way back when his father had a cupbearer and it was his eldest son right uh, court musician anyone who is gregarious in here yes you you can be my court musician very good uh, and everything else is fine for the time being I think we need to wait until we kind of become our own man a little bit more get a little bit more traits, kind of learn ourselves a little bit more and then go from there, I think. That's probably when we're going to look to uh, take a look at some other things about what we want to do. Uh, like I said, right now, I think we're just going to be letting everything settle down, play calm, play, you know, play, play ball a little bit. But then maybe as we start to become our own man a little bit, that might be when we decide, you know what? It's time to start bringing the hammer down on some people. Uh, what, do, what do I want to look at? Intrigue. What kind of thing do I want to do? Shut the gates. 
Am I smart enough to know that? Nah, not really. So I don't want to shut the gates. Promote a commander. I'm a bit fighty, but that's just a regular thing that goes on and on and on, so we don't need to do that right now. Compose a book. Nope, I'm not a booky kind of guy. No, we don't want to go on Hajj. We don't want to observe Ramadan. Search for a smith. I might want a weapon, maybe. Although I'm pretty sure I've got the sword of Muhammad still, right? Yeah. Can I? I can use that now. So let's put that back in place. Need to decide what I want as well. Um, magnum opus on transmutative alchemy. I can't use that anyway. Magnum opus on stellar astrology. Can't use that. Okay, so it's just the sword. I'm allowed to use okay that's fine um, sins expel the jury found a new kingdom yeah there's not really anything that I want to do right now okay we've got a couple of threats uh, what what are these increased council power increased council power okay if you were smart enough you two would get together but you know whatever uh, and I think that's it that's it, societies. We don't really want to look at anything just yet. I don't think... I don't even know about the Hermetic Society anymore. I'm not particularly learned kind of guy. So, yeah. Not a lot that we need to do with Emin Mirza right now, it seems. There's a... There's not a hell of a lot. Um, anything I can think of is that he's a defender. So maybe he might want to start bringing the realm up to snuff a little bit with fortifications and walls and things like that he's a brilliant strategist as well right but there's nothing in him that suggests buildery type of guy though he is shrewd you know what I don't think there's anything else we need to really do right now that's kind of where we're at with Merza right now and we'll uh We'll see how we go from there. Let's get this marriage done. There's the wedding. Uh, I need to give you some money, don't I, for the um, dowry. Uh, I don't like you enough to form a alliance with you right now. So, but there we go. So we got our wife. Let's have a look how everything is. Uh, we're okay with each other. Can I send you a gift? Uh, welcome to our family. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much where we're at. So that's the that's 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 the setting up basically of Mirza right now. But then we we don't know too much about him. He's he's a bit of a blank slate right now. So we need to wait and see where he's gonna take us. I think. Oh, I uh, I've become court poet of my liege why my dad was a poet I'm certainly not but that now might make some decisions I, I think that now I might need to go on a bit of a scholarship kind of focus because uh oh, yeah, I don't want to embarrass myself in front of... Yeah, okay, so that, that helps there. So there you go, we're going to go into a scholarship focus now because I don't want to be embarrassed. Uh, we don't want to build an observatory though because there's not really... We're not that way inclined. But I don't want to compose a book just yet because I'm not smart enough to do that. There's nothing else that I really need to do right now on that front. Okay, uh, but yeah, there you go. So now that's that has uh, come about a little bit. That's 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 put us in a certain direction. That's helped us a little bit. With uh, he's made me the poet. So now I'm like, oh crap, he's gonna want me to write and read poetry. Oh, I better learn a little bit about poetry because I don't really know anything. I'm an uncouth fightery kind of guy. Better learn about poetry. Okay, looks like I've just been offered a council. Oh no, he wants me to be a commander. Well, that I can certainly do. That's fine. I'm okay with being a commander because that is 
that's right up my alley. I'm a, I'm a fighty kind of guy, so that makes more sense. Okay, yep, I'm happy with that. That's that's a good position. Not on the council just yet. Have a feeling that that's going to come up at some point, though. It seems like he's uh, leaning towards making me a councillor. Um, so maybe we might want to make that ambition and then tick it off. I don't know. No, I think I'm going to leave it for the time being. Let's let's just leave it for now, I think. Yeah, there you go. I think he, yeah, he's going to ask me to become a councillor. Blessings upon your house. I would like to give you the seat on my council and therefore offer you the title of Chancellor. Uh, yeah. Not really sure that's my best role to be honest with you but okay we're going to become the chancellor for him so we are now on his council uh so i am now the grand vizier for him Oh, uh, I didn't realise I was moving that whole time. So, uh, instead of drilling the commanders, Marshal Jibir has been fighting them. There is truly a lack of discipline in your ranks. Yes, there certainly is. I need to uh, reel that in a little bit. So, now I'm the Grand Vizier. I'm also commanding an army somewhere up here. So, where am I? I should be doing that uh, so I am currently where am I doesn't say but what I do need to do is I think I need to bring my uh, my household retinue with me because that's something that we've been neglecting to do a little bit the the retinue should always be where the lieges right that's that's makes sense so we need to bring our retinue up here a little bit there's a there's a revolt going on that's uh that's not great so yeah so that's where we're gonna bring we need to bring our household retinue up to there because they need to be where i am that that is what their job is basically uh invite to a plot Wisdom and Mercy are legendary. We would like you to back the plot to fabricate a claim on the Emirate of Nafud. That's uh, this one here, right? Yeah. Uh, do I like you? Not fantastically. Do I I am meh about you as well? Uh, I'm going to decline that because it's not really something I care about. I don't really like either of you two. So... Uh, but there you go. Now we're on the council. Oh, uh, righteous imprisonment. Oh, uh, what are you trying to do? Uh, intrigue. Known plots. What are you trying to do? You're trying to kill Sheikh Abdul Jalil. That's my uncle. I think that maybe I should ask you to end that plot. Because that's just silly. Don't do that. Um... You should say yes to that as well. Uh, yeah, a lot happened in a very short amount of time. So I was named the poet, I was appointed commander, and I'm now on the council as the Grand Vizier. So there's a there's a little bit of everything that's just uh, kicked off there, I think, which is which is good. So, but that's good. We were just saying that he seemed quite boring. We needed to learn a little bit more about him anyway. Ah, my wife has got into poetry. That's good. My young wife has taken a passion for romantic poetry. She keeps reading any sort of romantic poetry she can get hold of. Get her more to read. That is her interest, not mine. These are books created by Shaitan. No, that's not right. But I am a poet and I want to learn more about poetry. So maybe it makes more sense that I actually ask her, you know, get some more for her. I mean, that is her interest, not mine, but I am the poet, so I should probably learn a little bit about it. So yeah, let's get that done. I'm gonna buy her some poetry books and hopefully I'll be able to pick up on a little bit as we go through. Okay, so my steward just died. So this is a chance to start putting people on the council that I like, so we can start moving it in our favor a little bit. So let's take a look and see eight, 
six, twelve. Okay. Twelve seems to be the oh fifteen. Okay. Uh, where were you? There, fifteen. Okay. So, but then we need to look at the. We need to look at the relative level of uh, intelligence. Um, knowledge as well because i'm i'm shrewd so i'm not i'm not stupid i know i know that you know you need to have good people for the role uh so eight to 15 isn't it or was it no it was 12 wasn't it, it was the next highest one wasn't it 12 yeah so 12 and seven what's the 15 who's the who's the first 15 and how good is he 15 and 5. 5 to 7 is really not that big a leap. So yeah, that's okay. So he can become my new steward, whoever he is. Where is he? Was it you? It was you, wasn't it? Yes. So you can become my new steward. You can administer the realm because I don't really want to. I don't know a lot about that, so that's fine. Um... I think that's good. Yeah. So there you go. We're starting to we're starting to make a little bit of a uh, a change to the council and everything ourselves. So starting to put our stamp on it a little bit. I'm having a dinner with plenty of drinks with Wali Farouk of Am Amirili tonight. It's lovely yet that I am most charmed by Farouk himself. Why else would I immediately stop our conversation and not immediately stop our conversation? So he is starting to take me down the, the, the naughty naughty route again. But how do I feel about him this time? Because last time this happened, I was open to the idea, but I didn't like the person. So why would I listen to him? Let's have a look. I'm meh about this person. So yeah, I'm going to let him carry on. If we do not ask questions, why did Allah make us curious? Okay, so we're going to carry on with this. Walking the palisades of my castle, I am joined by Wali Farouk. I find myself agreeing with a lot of the concepts he presents. The futility of prayer particularly resonates with me. Suddenly he turns to me and presses a small leather pouch into my hand. My lord, will you carry this with you for protection? I am not paranoid. Uh, I still am meh about this guy, so yeah, uh, sure. Why not? Uh, I will keep hold of it. Not a problem. What if I told you that all you have been taught to believe in is a lie? Farouk continues, throwing a cautious glance around us before pulling up his sleeve, revealing a scar in the shape of a pentagram. Allah lied to Adam in the Garden of Eden, reject the tyrant deity, and let Iblis guide your steps. Hmm. truly are a witch then can you bring down my enemies that is blasphemy Farouk leave my sight before I call the guards I don't think either of these options I think my react my initial reaction would be oh okay cool um what are you doing for dinner tonight? Uh, or have you seen the, that new film out of the cinema? Um, because <clears throat> I don't really care. I mean, this will probably be the only one. Just because I'm like, eh, towards him, I'd just be like, okay, yeah, that's great. Anyway, I've got to go now. I wouldn't shout blasphemy because I'm a cynic. Right, I will carry on, but not because I particularly want to. We might, if you offer yourself up to Iblis, you will be granted powers Allah has kept from us humans. Finger in the leather pouch in my pocket, I slowly nod. Oh, and I think you'll enjoy it, he said with a knowing smile. If there is any chance it will bring down my enemies, I will. So he's going to leave me alone for now. Coven will be in contact with you. Okay, uh, see, it's just. 
It's that the, the enemies thing is not really something that I'm particularly sure about. That's not really the reason why I'm doing it. I'm more doing it because A, I'm cynical and the other one with the blasphemy didn't seem to be true. Um, it's been some time since Wali Farouk was in contact with me. I've been mulling over his words. Allah told Adam he would die if he ate of the forbidden fruit. Allah lied. The imams in the mosque lie. Their lies are meant to hold us back. Why must we always put the needs of others before our own? Um, so this one, you continue to wait for further instructions, but you gain the trait greedy. This one, I just wait for further instructions. I'm temperate, so greed wouldn't really go in line with temperate. So I am just going to wait and see what happens there, I think, because... Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm not super, you know, greedy. Uh, I found some cryptic scrawlings written in blood on my bedroom door this morning. God said I haven't seen anyone enter during the night and I dare not ask my court imam to decipher it. Yeah, I think I understand. The pentagram, the mark of Shaitan. Um... See, now any normal person, if you come home and there's a pentagram drawn in blood on your door, regardless of how cynical you are, you're going to be freaked out by that and go, to hell with this, I need to back the hell off. It's just the wording that I don't get. My immortal soul, what if I'm wrong? See, my immortal soul, I'm not worried about my immortal soul. I'm worried that these psychopaths are going to, you know, eat my testicles or something. You know, it's not... It's not that I'm worried about going to hell. It's that I'm worried about people who are absolutely insane and they're psychopaths. So, you order your servants to scrub the door clean, put in a rest to any rumours this could stir up. Of course, the bargain must be struck. You carve a pentagram into your arm. See, that's... That's a very drastic step. There's nothing in me that would suggest that I would go... I would see blood on my door and go, That's right, I need to mutilate myself. Ah... <sighs> But the other one is like questioning my immortal soul, which I'm not worried about. I'm not worried about my soul. I'm just worried that people are insane. Again, there needs to be a third option that's just like, these people are crazy. I'm just going to clean this off and pretend that none of this ever happened. Not worrying about going to hell. Just more worried about people uh, insane, you know? I think it's too big a step to just start mutilating yourself. There's nothing in me that would, yeah, would, I'm temperate as well, so I would definitely temper any kind of emotions like that. I don't think I'm going to do it, but I'm not going to do it for the reason that I'm not put in there. I'm doing it more because the other option just doesn't seem like the kind of idea that he would have anyway. Yeah, I'm going to back off, but only for that reason. So, uh, the Battle of Annie, our ongoing struggle outside of Annie has brought out the best of our military strategists. One of them is Bedouin veteran with a penchant for innovation. He is suggesting that we he retire from the battlefront and return to Khaybar to continue his work safe from flying arrows. Uh, I don't have a terrible opinion of him, so this sounds like a solid investment. That's a lot of gold. Wow, okay. Nonsense, we need any resource available to us here at the front. A commander named Ramadan Ramadan joins your court. So here he comes back. 
here. We get technology points. Which one? I would say probably maybe that one because I don't like him enough to say come back with us. I don't have space for a commander either, do I? Oh, I do. Hmm. Brilliant strategist. I am a brilliant strategist. I get that strategy is more important than having bodies. Yes, I'm gonna do that. Okay, so we get the we get them back there. Right, where am I retinue? And where am I now? Okay, I don't think I'm at the front anymore, am I? I think am I in this one? I think I'm in this one, right? Vasburakan. I think that this is me here, right? Or is it? Oh no, I'm I'm here. Right, we're actually we're actually here. Right, okay. So you need to attach your army to Emin Mursa. Yeah. Because yeah, I'm I'm gonna be where I am. Detached from the following am Emin Mursa. Yep, that's me. Yep, yeah, okay, so good. Okay, that's cool. So I am just following that army around now with my retinue. Because that makes sense, because they're my retinue. Of course I would keep them with me. That's that's their whole job. Okay, that's good. Okay. Lucifer's own might not be as bad as I thought. I'm used to myself. I sometimes wonder what would have happened had I decided to join them. And I wonder where that beautiful creature went off to. Some ungodly adventure, surely. What beautiful creature? What beautiful creature were we talking about? I will never worship Shaitan. Okay, that's fine. But I'm not worshipping anyone, so that's kind of the whole point is I don't really want to worship anyone. But fair enough. I mean, that's basically just all ended then. That just came to an end. Uh, recently, I've noticed a pitiful state of my wife. Uh, I've just been informed that the cause of her aches and fatigue is the flu. Okay, so she just has flu. She is not in a great state is she she's paranoid as well so uh right well i'll call for my physician because i'm not stupid so yeah i'll do that we might want to look at starting to get him another wife as well i think that that's um something we might want to look at uh we'll wait till he's 18 i think and then we'll go we'll, we'll see if we can find him another wife i reckon Someone that he likes, because I don't think he likes his wife. No, and it was it was made for him as well. That marriage wasn't it. He didn't really get a choice in that. So I think that that's something we'll look at as well. Your vassal Shaker Shaba. That's my mum, right? I'm pretty sure that's my mum. No, is she not my mum? No, she's not my mum. Okay. I don't know who you are then. Um, has expressed her dissatisfaction with your choice of advisors. She claims that she is more qualified than the majority of your council and that she would make an excellent steward. She would be a controversial choice, however. Uh, I don't like her that much. I like him more. See, again, how do you suggest something so inappropriate? I don't really care about the inappropriacy of it. It's more just, yeah, yeah, but I like him more. Although he did just let smugglers into my realm. How good are you, anyway? You're not even that good. 
You're just slightly better than him. No, I'm going to say no, I'm afraid. But it's nothing to do with inappropriateness. It's just because I like him more than you. Uh-oh. Uh, riding through the mountains, I see a group of haphazard soldiers coming for my unit. Weapons raised. When they're finished with us, all my men are dead. I sink to my knees in the dirt, wondering why I am still here. Uh, I think I'm about to die. I, I think I'm about to die. Uh, you'll struggle in the future to overcome these events. Uh, or where is the enemy commander? I'll, I will kill him myself. For a personal duel. Okay. My combat skill is pretty good. Defender and strategist. I don't have a terrible opinion of this guy. He's just in an Abbasid revolt. I don't like the Caliph. That, oh, I do like him a lot more now. Okay, I should probably check what I am on his council as well. Um, how good is your 2349? So I'd probably beat you. I don't like you as much as I like the Caliph, and you are in the revolt. And you're a defender, so that would say a defender of your men as well, right? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. My opponent looks nervous, his armor a little ill fitting. I briefly contemplate asking if he would rather not do this another day. That doesn't tie in with the last headcanon thing that I made up at all. A moment later, I snap out of it, letting the fresh morning air sharpen my senses. Instead, the staunch man is soon on the ground, groaning in pain. I walk away victorious, so I win the duel, and he becomes wounded. Okay. There we go. So that's just giving me some new stuff. Dual victory, dual experience, and battlefield experience. So a little bit of everything just gets boosted on my martial side of things. That's good to know. Good to know. Considering I thought I was going to die as well. So just going through, looking for uh, a little bit of um, housekeeping and things like that. And the thing that I just thought about... Uh, is maybe looking for a smith because we have the weapon don't we we have the the sword of Muhammad but we don't have any armor and we're on the front lines at the moment leading our men maybe it's time that we wanted to try and find some armor Again, I know it makes more sense to like hire a smith when you're at higher levels because the quality of the item goes up and everything like that. I understand that. But realistically, I'm going to want a suit of armor right now, tailored specifically to me because I'm a commander currently on the front lines, was just in a huge battle where all of my men got wiped out and I hunted down the guy and killed him myself. I think that that's what I'm going to do. I think I am going to go and try and find that. Yes, uh, I'm in need of a new set of armor. Find me the finest armor smith around. Definitely something that I think we need to do. Considering that I am very much on the front lines now, I definitely think that that's something that I should look into. So yeah, let's... Uh, last time I hired a smith, it didn't go very well someone stole my my silver bracelets let's hope that that doesn't happen this time shall we uh also let's see if there's another ambition that makes more sense now make a friend become king acquire a title groom and heir still nothing yet is it we haven't we haven't gained a new trait yet we've gained some modifiers but but not a new trait yet so still nothing that we need to do there yet my Marshal Jabir Umiyad has told me about a remarkable armorsmith residing in Rafa. He suggested that I invite the man to my court to see his work for myself. If he manages to impress me, I could order my own custom-made armor. Uh, don't have a terrible opinion of him. 
don't have a terrible opinion of him. Fine. Bring this man along and let's see what he can do. Once the armorsmith's craftsmanship had been checked by my most knowledgeable attendants to ensure the quality was sufficient, I received him in the throne room. He introduced himself as Master Isa and gestured towards his numerous assistants who all carried examples of his work. Does my emir have anything special in mind? I am in need of protection. Make me a strong, sturdy set of armor. Exactly what I am looking for. A set of armor, I see. An excellent choice, my emir, says Master Isa, and calls forward an assistant, cradling several set of armors in his arms. I have a couple of examples here. One must determine what one need and how much one is willing to pay. Though they would all serve your highness well. Cross me something of high quality that I can bring with me into combat. That uh, will lose me 100 gold. Gold isn't really a problem. Actually, I've changed my mind. No, definitely. Bring me something that I can carry into combat. At the table today, Elix complained about the food being too hot without even touching it. Okay, great. Who is this kid? I don't know who you are. Um, I don't particularly care about your... Um, yeah, let her wait. I don't care. Uh, no matter what I do or avoid doing, there seems to be no good way to make Alex relax. She won't eat at all. Now I have no more energy to deal with it. I don't even know who you are. Who are you? Are you a prisoner that we've taken? I, I don't know who you are. I don't care. Uh, yeah, become fussy. I really don't care what your problem is. I just want my set of armor. As I was walking towards Master Issa Smith, I could not hear the sound of progress, but instead the sound of voices talking. I found Issa and my courtier Hafiz discussing different metals and their compositions. All this talk was making my head spin and definitely halting the progress on the work I have ordered. Uh, Issa, I don't have a terrible opinion of you. Who are you talking to? Hafiz? I don't particularly like Hafiz, but not to the point where I would hate him talking. Um, but, yeah, so this reduces everyone's opinion of me. I don't particularly care about that. 10% chance of Master Issa focusing on his task and produce a superior work of art, though. That's the thing. This one just makes everyone happier what am I like I'm temperate right yeah so yeah I would probably just be like you know what it's fine you take your time and talk it's really not a massive problem I don't think just that's the way I seem to be more inclined oh my wife is pregnant that's very good. I certainly hope it's mine because she is a lustful person. So let's hope that it's my baby, shall we? Uh, let's give her a little congratulations gift on becoming pregnant. Well done. Thank you very much. Good job. Master Issa's main assistant has finally bought me the finished set of armor I have been waiting for. It is a beautiful and elegant set of armor and I am excited to see it goes beyond my original expectations I am sure she will serve me well uh, I add chainmail armor to the armory let's take a look at that piece of armor shall we how good is it chainmail armor quality one damn gives me prestige martial and personal combat skill a basic set of armor made up of many small metal rings linked together it's not great but it's armor. At least we have armor now. That should make me a little bit safer whilst I am out there on the front lines all the way out here. And yeah, I think that that's where we're going to leave it today, ladies and gentlemen. We've started our reign with Mirza. He's a little bit of a boring character, although he is up for a fight. So just not in the way that we probably want him to be. Uh, we got ourselves our first set of armor. We It's pretty poor but at least we have a set of armor we've never had a set of armor before and uh, our wife is pregnant so that's all good we also decided that we weren't going to mutilate ourselves for satan but it wasn't because we were worried about going to hell it's just that it made no sense whatsoever 
But uh, let's hope that Mirza becomes a little bit more exciting next time, shall we? Uh, he is 18 now, so we might see about going out and finding ourselves another wife. A wife that he likes a little bit more. 18 year olds are a little bit more, you know, flirty out there. That's probably what I should look at in future, you know, the age. Although seduction would be. There would be something in here like lustful that would make more sense to be seductive, but. Anyway, whatever. We became a poet. That's why we decided to try and move on to the scholarship focus. Maybe that will change going forward. We're now at war. We might want to go back onto a war focus, for instance. Can we change yet? When can we change? 32. Not for a while yet. So that will be for next time. Well, thank you for joining me again today. I certainly hope you join me again that next time. But until then, I bid you all adieu, a good day, and a massive GG to you all. You have been watching a Rich Tea Entertainment production. For more great shows, why not check out another of our YouTube channels by clicking the link. Or for a taste of what's on offer, check out this video. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe for more.